Okay, we got some breaking news, um, some alarming news, that um, heavyweight contender Jared Anderson was charged with a third-degree felony, right? Hey, man, what, what, what Jay Prince said, you know, um, hey, you, you, you keep doing all that campaign, campaign, and you're going to end up getting elected. Well, well guess what? You done elected yourself to, to becoming a felon, right? It's because, let's look at this, right? So... He was charged with a third degree felony, fleeing a police officer, you know, at his arraignment on Saturday morning. And um, after officers said he led them on a six mile police chase with speeds exceeding 130 miles per hour, according to the Hauran Township, Michigan Director of Public Safety. Okay, so so why are you in Michigan if you're supposed to be in training camp? Right, that, that's my that's my question. And he's supposed to be fighting soon if they have some information about him. Yeah, so he's fighting in April. All right, so this is March. So that's in five weeks. So now you have to stop what you're doing to go to court proceedings. You, you got this over your head in the process of you, you having this. Um, you're headlining an event with Top Rank on ESPN. That's going to be in Texas, Okay. So Anderson is ESPN's number number eight heavyweight and is widely considered America's top heavyweight champion hopeful. Top rank decline comment. Okay, so let's read this here. We certainly believe it was a case of him baiting us. So let me repeat that. We certainly believe it was a case of him baiting us. So let me stop him right there. So 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 Bro, do you see this, bro? Do you see the, the, the level of stupidity in this? Right? I, I need you young brothers to learn from this, bro. Why are you baiting the police officers when you're a black man driving in a, in a, in a fancy car, okay, a Dodge Challenger, all right? And, um, you know, you, you're baiting them. You're, you're basically asking them to pull a gun on you, all right, when they pull you over. Any sudden movements, you already know it's game over, right? I remember 78 Sports TV, shout out to him, years ago. It's something that stuck out of my head, bro, because, man, you just know, you, you know a real street nigga when, when, when they speaking and when they're in your presence, you feel me? The brother said, he said, survive the encounter. I remember 78 saying that, bro. He said, bro, what are you doing? You being so stupid. Why, why, are, you, why are you responding the way you responded? You got to survive the encounter. So, obviously, right, this is a case where this brother... Right, where's Jay Prince, bro? Now you got Honeycomb Brazy, right? You got um, uh, Jared Big Baby Anderson. You got Shakur Stevenson, cancer cure fight. He out there running his mouth. And he was at that bowling alley with his phone out, right? You know, that, that fateful Halloween night for one of the greatest rappers in the world, okay? And now you got Jared Big Baby Anderson caught up in this, in, in this trash catch of felonies and things of that nature, right? I'm, I'm sure I could go on and on and on and on and on with, 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 with this stuff here. But but where's the leadership? You understand? Where, where's the leadership, bro? Why is this fool in Michigan when he's supposed to be in Ohio training for this fight? Why is he out here baiting police officers? Why ain't trying to be this? Bro, that, uh, uh, can anybody tell me where the real nigga shit is, is in that? Right? You understand? Where, where it's at in that? So now you got this boy being being charged with a felony. You know they're going to slam him for it, right? So not only are you being charged with a felony, I'm quite sure nines out of ten, right, they, they, they're going to, you know, put the clamps on you. They're going to say, okay, well, you can't go here, you can't go there, you can't go to any of these places, and it's a possibility that his fight can be canceled, right? So you, you, now you, you, not only are you trying to, be a real nigga. You remember what he said about Devin Haney? Oh, yeah, when we catch you. Do y'all remember that? Y'all remember that, right? Oh, yeah, when we when we catch you, we gonna do this, that, and the other to you, right? Trying to be a real nigga, don't. Real niggas don't do these type of things, bro. Real stupid niggas do these type of things, bro. You understand what I'm saying to you? How you how you put yourself in a position where you're, you're actively asking the police officers to pull you over with guns drawn? I mean, can it get any more dumber than that? Can't get any more stupider, right? So you, you can see the difference in why he was hating on Devin Haney so much. Are y'all learning from this? Do you, uh, are y'all wrapping your mind around what I'm saying? Devin Haney's father, okay, has been in his life, right? Planting him in, on fertile soil and, 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 and look at the fruits he's producing, right? You judge a man by, by their fruits. This man is 
co-promoting a major event, the youngest co-promoter in boxing history. He's a man in and outside of the ring because of his father's influence in his life. Yeah, he was charged with that with that gun thing in, in, in California, right? I, and, and trust me, bro, you know, I'm Big Brother E, you know what I'm saying? I stepped up, I said, hey, hey, nah, nah, that's wrong. Y'all ain't supposed to have that happening. And then when Bill Haney got hit in the face with the bottle, but you saw how they cleaned that stuff up. Jared Big Baby Anderson, right? He just got in trouble with the police not too long ago when he had his gun locked in the glo glove locks. Now you have having these troubles with the police, right? Now you're charged with a felony. So now you now you you're a real nigga now because you've been charged with a felony, huh? Bro, dog, dog, you, you you can't you can't make this stuff up, bro. So anyway, what they're saying, we're, we're very fortunate that nobody got hurt. The speed reached high levels. Very fortunate our officers were able to balance the public safety with getting him into custody based on his dangerous behavior. The fact he kept going northbound, southbound, it was certainly some attempt to cop bait. There it is right there. He did, they're saying that he was baiting in the police. Now, what nigga do you know baiting in the police, bro? I need you to understand that, bro. I need y'all really to wrap your minds around this, dog. This is why it's important to have a father figure, a leader there, a masculine force, a dominant force in your life telling you, hey, stop the bullshit. Go back to that gym. Hey, nah, stop the cap. Get your behind back in that gym. Well, what are you doing hanging around with these clowns, these bozos? They're going to get you in trouble. Get back in the gym, right? Hit this punching bag, things of that nature. You understand? You ain't out here harming people with this with these reckless driving things like that. And you think that this is cool when this is gonna do nothing but blow your bag, bro. Secure the bags, survive the encounter, don't do nothing stupid, stay out of the way, and use your money to make investments, bro. Go read a book, rich dad, poor dad. You know, take that bread and and, and plant some seeds. Get into the cryptocurrency spaces. I was telling y'all for years, a lot of those videos I had to delete. But I was telling y'all, bro, the ones who's been keeping up with me for all these years, I've been telling y'all, XRP, XLM, ADA, H-Ball, Quant, get into those things, bro. Look at what ADA's doing, right? You, you see what I'm saying? ADA done blew all the way up. I told y'all getting ADA at 20 cents. You see what I'm saying? XRP, my homie Mo, holla at him. Uh, shout out to him. You know, um... He was telling me about XRP at 10 cents. Okay? Man, we've been doing these things, bro. You know what I'm saying? These youngsters can get into these cryptocurrency spaces, get into day trading, get into investing your money into real estate and, and properties and different things of that nature, bro. You're taking your money, you're blowing the bag, being stupid, bro. I can never get behind this, all. And, and where's Jay Prince? Where's the leaders involved? Now you got ESPN reporting this, bro. Instead of reporting about his fight, they're reporting about him being charged with a felony. And that's just stupid.